Hello guys and welcome to this uh, video. My name is Evans and once again we will continue to look at the May June 2020 IGCSE ICT Paper 21. And the last couple of videos we've done document production and we've done databases and now we are starting to look at MailMage. So um so let's get started with MailMage. <laughs> okay, so you are required to carry out a MailMage. Uh, create a MailMage letter using the file um, j uh, j n3.rtf as the master document file and then um, j2120mmdata.csv as a data source file. And um, so let's go ahead first of all and open the master file. So we'll come here, uh, we'll open entry uh, with entry uh, is this one just double click on it and um, we'll go to mailings and then select recipients and use an existing list to import the um, the data source file so the data source file is supposed to be um, mm data mm data which is this one and import it so make sure that even when you're importing these that the documents are not opened somewhere in a spreadsheet for example Otherwise, you're going to have some error. Okay, so we've imported, um, uh, we've linked our, we've linked our um, our master file um, to the source, so we can now access the fields that are found in the data source file. So let's go back to the question paper. So we're done with this part. Now we need to do the date, replace the date uh, with a field to display the date in this format. So we just come here, get this just at the and there uh, make sure that it is just by the end of the angle bracket that is just there don't go over so i'll just use my keyboard just come back there and um, select um, insert and then go to quick parts field and then go to date just hit d on your keyboard and you can type the date format that you want so i want the date format um, as dd up to four m's and small letter y so just dd space m m m m space y y y y so what this does is gives you a date that looks like this one here so that's 0 to october 2020 so that should be the one so now you can even check if that's the for correct format by right clicking on the date and then say toggle field code and when you do that you will see that it is dd four capital M and Y, and that's your, your, your format for the date. So you've been told to take a screenshot evidence to show the date field codes showing the format used. Place this screenshot in your evidence document. So what you need to do is this same one that you have. So if you are um, right click on this one, toggle field codes, if the date is like this, just right click on it, then toggle field codes and get a screenshot of this. And this is what you paste as your evidence document that the format of the date has actually been set. So I'll paste it just right about there. That's fine, even if it's so big. Um, okay, so the next one is replace the text um, and chevrons in the master document with the merge fields from the data source file. So these are the merge fields that we have and we'll need to replace the chevrons that we have now. We're quite a lot, so I'm just going to put the screen side by side so that I don't have to um, be switching between the screen every now and then so I'll just put them side by side like this oops um, take it this side uh, just there and then get this zoom out a little we'll just push it this side that should be fine okay so now I can go ahead and um, change this so I'll take this back to date um, toggle it again and now I can put this the first one is a title so I'll go ahead and put title so you get this field name here, and then what you're supposed to replace it with uh, on this side. So the field name is this one, and I'll go back here to mailings, and then uh, I'll go to insert merge fields, and then I'll go title. Then first is supposed to be first name, so I'll go to insert merge field and first name. And then the next one, um, so close, the next one is supposed to be large, last, and I'll ins insert the last name and then address one is supposed to be street so again I'll just use my keyboard to go back there um, so what you do is if it's like this hold shift and then back arrow and you should be able to do, to go back like that 
So you can move around um, address two is error and then posts. Okay, so you can move around with your keyboard just like this whilst holding your shift key on your keyboard and your left, your direction arrow. Okay, so next we need to set the post. It's supposed to be post code. And then dear first is supposed to be first name. Um, no, don't highlight them. It's supposed to be first name. Um, where are they? Where's first name? Where's first name? Where are you? Here. And then um, we need to insert the discipline, which is this one. Discipline is supposed to be um, race type. So just come here and select race type. Level is supposed to be ability. So just come here and select ability. And then class is supposed to be category. And go and come here and select category. And then lastly, not lastly, but team is supposed to be club. So select club. Um, club. And then trial is supposed to be practice run. So just select this one and pick up practice run. And then lastly, uh, not lastly, why do I like lastly? Come on. Um, go is supposed to be st uh, start, race start. And code is supposed to be ID type or type ID. Type ID, which is this one. Then discipline again, it's supposed to be race type. This one. And then um, I think those are the ones um, we have not used. Um, no, we have used every one of them. So that should be fine. Um, so we come back to the question. Um, so I'll just maximize this. So now we make sure that the spacing, punctuation, and alignment in the original master document are maintained. We've done that because we were making sure that when selecting the chevrons, we don't um, go beyond the line that we have. So replace the text candidate name here with your name and enter your name, center number, and candidate number in the foot of the document and save this document. So here, I'm just going to here, candidate name, I'll just place, replace it with Evans, um, Evans Chikasa. And then in the footer, we'll add our candidate name, Chikasa Evans ZM556 and then 0001. Okay. So that should be done. And then you can go ahead and print this. Okay. Uh, make sure um, enter your name, center number, uh, save a document, save and print your document showing the merge fields. So you just need to come and print this document as it is. So don't change anything. These are the merge fields that you want to be uh, printed. So if I just maximize this and I say go to mailings and highlight the merge fields. So these are the merge fields that have been um, printed. Now you can go ahead and print this uh, document. Um, showing the merge fields okay um, so I'll leave it at this I want to print since my printer is already off and even if I wanted to print <laughs> even if I wanted to print I would not go ahead and print because I'm not marking it uh, for myself so I'll just save this document as um, as it is so just go in file as file and I'll because I don't want to um, to have this document uh, disappear so I'll just save it as this and then I'll call it worked because um, people will be using it in the video uh, for revision okay so the next thing that we need to do now I think we are almost done with MailMage um, locate the line starting with event classification venue and um, classification uh, for each of these lines set the left aligned tab at five centimeters and then the left margin um, rather set what 
For these lines, set a left aligned tab at five centimeters from the left margin. So you're talking about tabs now. Um, tabs. I hope you guys will learn about tabs. I think they should be there in your textbook and how you can use tabs um, for alignment of objects on your page. So I'll show you how you can do that. Um, so tabs at five centimeters and left margin from the left margin and use this setting to align the data, which should look like this. So if you look at this data, the way it is, um, you can actually tell it's different from the data in the document. Um, if you look at the data in the document, it's this one here. Okay, so let me just use my this and the data in the document actually is this one. So they are telling you that, hey, can you align this information starting from MBT? It should be aligned five centimeters from the left margin. So MT, MTB should start directly um, under five centimeters, like somewhere there. And also um, come uh, this uh, core bag should also start directly this line. So everything should start here to create like um, a, a list. So you can tell um, from the question paper, um, if you just close this, come to the question paper, you can tell that at five centimeters, we have everything starting like this. So this is how tabs work. They put data as though it's arranged in a table and yet it's not in a table, okay? So this is what we want to do. So it's very simple actually to do this, guys, and I'm going to show you how you're supposed to do that. So what you need to do is to put the cursor at the start of this document like this, at the start of MTB, put your cursor there, then come back here. Okay, so I'm just going to, so come to this corner here okay you need to make sure that the 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 shape that you have here is for a tab now what's the shape for a tab it looks something like a t an inverted t with a dot like this okay it looks like an inverted t with a dot then that's for a tab in fact if you um it's a decimal tab actually it's called a decimal tab if you keep on if you over your mouse there you see this is left tab click there and you see this one, it says um, center tab. Click there once more. And over your mouse, it says right tab. Click there once more. And over your mouse, and it says decimal tab. Now, decimal tab, this is what you want. You want a decimal tab. So you need to come and click now on a five if you want. Okay, you can click on a five or you can come to home and go to paragraph and then come to tabs and then make sure that the tab position is at five okay and um just um just say just set uh, click on set and then say okay and you can tell that the tab is now at position five so now if it's at five just hit um tab key on your keyboard now tab key on your keyboard i don't know how i can show you this but um if you look at escape button on your top keyboard, you come down, you see the tab key with some arrow pointing to the right, some arrow pointing to the left and so on. So it's just above caps lock if you're using a Windows machine. So just hit tab key on your keyboard and you'll see that it is aligned directly under five. Uh, put your cursor here and click, um, uh, actually you're not supposed to do that for this one. You're supposed to tab key, it's aligned like that. Then set this one also, go to paragraph, go to tabs go to set it at five set it and then okay and then now hit tab key on your keyboard and it moves just like that lastly put your cursor here again go to paragraph go to tabs then go to, uh, put five centimeters here click on set say okay and then hit tab on your keyboard and it moves just like that and that looks perfectly fine okay so that's how you do this one. And then they tell you to highlight these three lines, take a screenshot showing the lines and um, the ruler and uh, display. So just make sure it is like this, okay? Just the lines near the ruler so that they check if you really manage to position it at five centimeters. And believe me you, if you try to use spacebar on your computer to push this onto five centimeters, you won't manage to do that. So let's come back here. We'll scroll up so that it is close to the ruler that's uh, the thing that we want like that and then we're going to highlight these lines the three of them like that and then we'll take a screenshot like this um, 
this is fine I, I can take it like this it doesn't matter but even like this is fine because you're just interested in the lines that you you have um the lines that you have there so you want to only see the three lines so come here to fds document and paste it here and that should be perfectly fine awesome um okay so the last almost 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 there so the other thing is that we need to set an automated filter to select the members where ability is elite or expert so just come again here this is very simple and uh, go to um, mailings and then this time edit recipient list and then go to filter and then select uh, where the ability is supposed to be elite or so change or not and but or ability is equal to expert so it's supposed to be ability or Okay, so take note of the boolean operator there, it's all. And then go ahead and preview it. Uh, you can see that you have selected only three records and just say okay. Okay, uh, well, I shouldn't have said okay because maybe some questions they'll ask you for evidence. So place in a screenshot to show evidence of how you did the selection method. So I shouldn't have closed it. Before I closed it, I should have um, indicated um, the recipient, how I did the filter. So this is the filter. Just select it, crop it like that. That's the evidence of how I did my selection. Paste it in your evidence document. Just say, okay, okay. And paste it in your evidence document. Like that. So that should be perfectly fine. Um, the next thing that you need to do um, is merge and print the letters for the selected entrance only. So what you need to do now is to go to merge and finish. You can preview the results if you if you if you want. You can come here and say preview results and it will show you the different documents. So you can come here and then say merge and finish. Um, so I, I won't um, I won't print the documents. I'll just merge the documents, all of them, um, into a letter. So there are three of them, and now I can go ahead and save this because I'm giving out this file as um, a worked file. So this is mail merge, mail merge, worked file. Okay, uh, people will need to see this one. Okay, so this is these are the three letters that we have printed. Um, you can directly send them to the printer and they'll come out properly. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, so the next thing that um, after you've printed out this um, is just now to prepare to print the evidence document because there's nothing more that you're going to paste in the evidence document. So at this stage, you can go ahead and print your evidence document and it will totally work perfectly. Just make sure that your evidence document has your name, center number and candidate number before you actually print it. That should be fine. Um, so thank you so much for watching this video and in the last video i'll be looking at um document uh, rather presentation 